Steven Spielberg and 20th Century Studios dropped a brand new trailer for their remake of West Side Story coming out later on this year. I'm going to take a look at this new one to let you know if this one has best picture written all over it right after this. Hey everyone, it's the outlaw John Roca here back with a trailer reaction for a brand new trailer for West Side Story, that remake. It dropped this morning, the remake from Steven Spielberg and 20th Century Studios, and I think they smartly dropped it on the first day of Hispanic Heritage Month happening right now over the next 30 days, being celebrated all over the place. So a smart move by them to drop this trailer uh, today. And this one, of course, as I said, coming from Steven Spielberg, but also from Pulitzer Prize and Tony Award-winning writer Tony Kushner. It's set in 1957 New York City, a remake of the 1961 original that won so many Oscars, including Best Picture. This time around, the cast includes Ansel Elgort as Tony, Rachel Zegler as Maria, Ariana DeBose as Anita, David Alvarez as Bernardo, Mike faced as Riff, Josh Andres Riviera as Chino, Ana Isabel as Rosalia, Corey Stoll as Lieutenant Shrink, Brian Darcy James as Off Officer Krupke, and the great Rita Moreno returning back to the West Side Story universe to play a character called Valentina, who now owns the corner store in which Tony works. Remember in the original film, that was uh, an older white dude owning uh, the uh, the corner store there. And remember that Rita Moreno played Anita in the original and in the original, the terrible thing that happens to her at that corner store when she goes to try to tell Tony what Maria's plans are uh, against her better judgment. And so to have Rita Moreno now owning that store Really, not, not playing the same character, but really interesting to see her owning the store overall. So I'm looking forward to see what we got from this trailer. I've seen already some people commenting on the emotion in the trailer, on the look, on the vibe, on the colors, palette, all of that. So I'm excited to see what we're going to get. Are we going to get a little more of the storyline? Are we going to get more of the songs? Are we going to get more of their new interpretations? Uh, I'm wondering if this one has best picture sensibilities, best picture vibe to it um without further ado let's watch the new trailer for west side story here it's about two minutes and 15 seconds strap in and let's see what we got oh i love the sounds of the city that's awesome great visual look at that tenement building there oh rachel that's oh great i love the accent they did have an accent in the original, but I like this one feels more authentic. This is my first time in New York City. Oh, uh, the iconic happy. white dress. Yes. I want to make a life at home. Yep, there's the red sash. Oh, belt. Oh, gimbals. Nice. Are you ready? Ooh, there it is. Tonight, Bernardo. Family. <laughs> I like the look. That's 1957. Great the stuff by the costume designer. boy who smiles at you. <laughs> wow, look at that. I've never seen you before. Redoing that iconic moment is not easy. Is that okay? Do you want to she seems more self-possessed, right? Than Maria. Oh, there's Anita. Oh, okay. You know, I wake up to everything Come the Jets. I know, either getting sold or wrecked or being taken over by people that I don't like. Uh, you keep away from him. Uh, I wanted a bigger riff. I don't know. That's me. I'm a grown-up now, Bernardo. I'm gonna think for myself. Tony. It is in the Latin community, pushing back against the, uh, sometimes the very aggressive Latin Latino males. They're being protective, we're being protective of, but, you know. Oh. Wow. If you go with mm. him, no one will ever wow. forgive you. Oh, look at these visuals, fantastic. You are coming to life vibrantly. Look at this, love this. Woo, the dance scene, look at that, beautiful. Oh, Rita. Oh, great matters. secrets there. Even more than love. Life matters even more than love. Is that what you said? Oof. That's a strong statement. Bam. Yeah, good build. Good build. Ah, oh, wow. Okay. All right. So I have to give my honest trailer reaction. I kind of liked the earlier trailer trailer better than this trailer although i thought this trailer was very vibrant had some great costumes fantastic set i mean steven spielberg looks like he's directing the hell out of this thing 
great sequences, nice shots, good uses of usage of the camera. You've seen the crane shots. You've seen these other shots going on. Nice uh, uh, usage of the city, uh, bringing it to life in the daytime and the nighttime. I appreciated that. Love the shot in the ring of those four guys there, you know, from the Sharks doing their thing. Love the shot of the Jets coming out of the warehouse. That shot of the, the fight sequence with the, it looks like salt, uh, you know, pillars of, what, what do you call it, mounds of salt or wherever they're fighting. Uh, I dig that. I, I like the look there. I like Rachel Zegler. My God, she commands already commands the screen commands the presence i like that she's darker too you know maria in the first film natalie wood obviously not a, a darker person but you know i like to see that that's good to see a little more brown in this west side story i'm down with it as a as a latino as a hispanic i love seeing that so i'm i'm, I'm, I'm excited for that uh am i sold on riff uh i'm on the fence on riff and nothing against the actor who's the actor matt uh what's his name matt uh, mike mike face nothing against mike face but I was looking for a, I don't know, a, a burlier riff, a, a bigger riff. I know Russ Tamlin wasn't that big in the original, but just was hoping because Bernardo is certainly bigger uh, than George Shakiris is in the original. The actor they cast uh, as Bernardo, he is certainly bigger uh, in this uh, David Alvarez. He looks a little bit bigger than uh, George Shakiris did in, in a good way. So I was hoping to see if maybe Riff was going to uh, balance that up. So, you know, they smartly pushed. Ansel Elgort to the back uh, and made Rachel Zegler, made uh, Ariana DeBose as Anita, really the uh, focal points that you see here. Uh, Riff got his shots as well to be seen. Uh, so I, I enjoyed that. Uh, good shots of, uh, we didn't get too many uh, shots of uh, of uh, Corey Stoll or Brian Darcy James as Shrank and Krepke, but, and we, Krupke rather, and we didn't get any more of the music other than tonight in terms of being sung. We got some of the score, but we didn't get any more than tonight tonight the the song that she sings at the beginning of this trailer so a little curious why we're not getting more of that uh but i think they captured the gym scene really well but as i'm watching this something occurred to me that i hadn't thought of before and i might be crazy you guys know sometimes i can be a little bit crazy but is there any chance that steven spielberg changes the ending to this movie you know we lost um it, you know in the first uh, film maria lives tony dies in the original Romeo and Juliet, which is what this is based on, uh, they both die. So is there a way, is there a possibility that Stephen goes back to this and they both die or they both live? Is that a possibility here in this? I don't know. I'm throwing it out there. Nothing's been revealed. Nothing's been teased. Nothing's been hinted at. But it just occurred to me as I was watching this that it feels like they're not leading up to the same. Because I mean, if Ansel Elgort is being pushed to the background and all the stuff going on with Ansel Elgort off camera, are people going to feel the loss of Tony the way you're supposed to feel the loss of Tony in the first film by uh, Richard Boehmer when he died? Will people feel that um, as well? I wonder. I'm very curious about it. So we shall see. All right. Well, let me know what you thought of the trailer down below. Did you like this trailer? Did, did it move you? I know my fellow geek buddy, uh, Michael Vogel was going crazy about it saying he was going to get very emotional watching this trailer. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. Remember to hit a like on this video as well. Hit a like and also share it on your social media because when you share it on social media, you're letting people know you enjoy the content and the honesty coming through here with all the stuff we do on the Outlaw Nation channel. And speaking of the channel, please remember to subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button so you see when we're dropping all the new content we do here on the Outlaw Nation channel. And as I said, head on over to Twitch as well. The Outlaw Nation, all one word there. Got play-alongs and, uh, uh, and uh, watch-alongs happening over there as well. And if you want to support the show, as I said at the beginning of this, you want to support Support the show. You can do so at the Patreon, patreon.com slash John Roca. That's how you support the show and the channel, everything we do here uh, on the Outlaw Nation channel. And uh, that's a, you'll see the multiple tiers you can subscribe and the benefits that you get when you support what we're doing here. So uh, thank you all very much. Don't forget about the podcasts I do, the uh, Top 10, the Cinephiles, and the Geek Buddies. Also follow me on social media, the Outlaw Nation, on Twitter and on Instagram. All right, take care of yourselves. Be well. And tonight, tonight, we will see you for another trailer reaction down the road on the Outlaw Nation. Take care. Mm -hmm.